Okay guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that if the cord is subjected to a constant force of 30 pounds and the smooth 10 pound collar starts from rest at A. So from the smooth it means that there is no friction force and the initial velocity of this collar at that point A is 0. So let me write that the initial velocity, the velocity at uh, the initial position at state 1 is 0. It is said that determine its speed when it passes point B. So let me write that the velocity at A is 0 and the velocity at point B we are required to determine. And it is said that neglect the size of the pulley C. So now we have this collar. So initially this collar is somewhere here than it and this is at state 1 and then it reaches that point B. So at point B, this will be its final state. And the motion profile is given as this function, y is a function of x, y equals to one divided by two x squared. So now if we apply the work energy principle, so from work energy principle, we can say that the kinetic energy at A plus the summation of work done between A to B, the summation of work done by all the external forces from A to B will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So now let's say if I consider this collar somewhere here, right? So we will have the free body diagram like this. Let me draw the free body diagram. So this is my free body diagram. And this is that collar and we have that force F. So that force F is 30 pound which is acting vertically downward. So as we are given this uh, profile of the path is of y as a function of x. So we can use the normal and tangential coordinates, right? So if, if I consider the tangential and normal coordinates, so this will be our positive t direction and this will be our normal direction. So similarly, the similar case is here, this will be my tangential direction and this will be my normal direction. And the normal force of this pipe is going to act in the uh, plus n direction, that is in the positive normal direction. This is positive normal direction. So this is the normal force and the weight is going to act vertically downward. So this, this will be the weight like this. And the weight of the collar is uh, 10 pounds. And this is that force F. That force F is 30 pounds. So now if we apply this work energy principle, so the, the velocity at point A is 0. So the kinetic energy at point A is 0. So we can write it 0 plus. As we can see that if we consider the normal and tangential coordinate, the collar is also always moving along the tangential direction. There is no movement along the normal axis. So this means that this n, the normal force that is applied by the bar on this collar uh, will not produce the work done. It will not do any work since the distance is traveled along the tangential direction, right? So this n is not going to produce any work. So this means that this f and this weight is going to produce the work done. So we can write that the external forces that are going to, to do the work on this collar are weight and this force f. So we can write that the work done due to the weight plus the work done due to that force F will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So the kinetic energy at point B will be half mvb square. Now the work done due to the weight will be equal to the weight times delta y. So the change in the vertical position from A to B. So the weight is 10 pounds and the change in the vertical position is from A to B is this 4.5 feet. This is the change in, this is the change in the vertical position. This is delta Y. And as we can see that the, in the vertical direction, this collar is moving up and the weight is going to act vertically downward. This is the weight direction and this is the displacement. So this means that the work done due to the weight is negative. So we need to put minus sign here and delta Y is 4.5 feet. Similarly, the work done due to that force F will be, let me write the work done due to that force F is, so that will be 30 
that is the force times the displacement. Let me write the displacement, let us say delta s. And this delta s will be the displacement along the direction of this force f. So now we have to find, uh, if we somehow find the change in the rope length from this datum line. If I define this as my datum line, so if, we, if I find the change in the rope length along this force F, so that will be the change in S, that will be the change in the displacement along this force F. Since we know that the work done is always equal to F dot uh, the distance traveled or F dot the displacement. So, if we want to find this dot product, then this will be F S cos of theta, right? So, either we have to find the component of force F along the uh, distance covered or we have to find the distance in the direction of that force F. So, this is the definition of work done. So, now we need to find the change in the rope length and that will tell us the distance covered along this force F which is acting vertically downward. So how to find that delta S, so at A, let's say if, if this color is at A, so the rope length will be from A to C. So originally this will be the rope length from A to C. And then when it reaches this point B, then the rope length will be equal to this much, that will be from B to C, this will be the rope length. So now if if we subtract BC length from this AC, then this rope, this the end of this rope will travel this much distance along this force F. So now we can write that this delta S, this delta S will be equal to that AC rope length minus BC, the remaining length, right? So that will be the, the extension or let's say that this end of the rope will reach, will travel some distance along that force F. Or we can say that that will be the chain in the, in this part of the rope, right? So we have to find that. And that chain in the rope length will be this delta S, which is AC minus BC. So now we can find that AC. What is that AC if we consider this triangle? Let me consider this triangle from here to here. So AC, we, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, then AC square will be equal to this 1 plus 3 plus 2. So this is 3 plus 1, 4, 5, 6, 6 feet square plus this 4.5, 4.5 square. And if we take the square root, then we will be able to find that AC rope length. So this gives me rope length of 7.5 feet. From A to C, the rope length is 7.5 feet. And similarly, BC is this much length, which is 2 feet. From B to C, this is 2 feet. So I will write 2 feet. So delta S is 7.5 feet. Let me write 7.5 minus 2 feet. So that is 5.5 feet. So now we can find the work done due to that force F. So the work done due to that force F is 30 into 5.5 feet and this is the positive work done since as we know that the collar is moving up and the force if we consider the force here then this force f is uh, acting in the upward direction right so and somehow this force is making some angle but the overall effect is along the direction of the distance traveled right so that is the positive work or if we look into the work done due to this force f at this end of the rope so then the uh, force is applied in this direction and the, the rope or the change in the rope length is in this direction. So this means that this is the positive work done. So this, the work done due to that force F is the positive work done. Now we can put all those values in this work energy principle. So we can write that the, uh, the work done due to the weight is the negative work. So I will write minus 10 into 4.5 plus the work done due to that force F is 30 into 5.5 and this is equal to 1 divided by 2 and the mass is since we are given the weight so we have to divide it by 32.2 so the weight is 10 pounds divided by 
p per second square into vb square so this 2 will cancel out this 10 and we will be left with 5 divided by 32.2 so let me find this minus minus 10 into 4.5 plus this so minus 10 into 4.5 plus 30 into 5.5 .5, 120 so this is 120 equals to 5 divided by 32.2 vp square and now if i cross multiply so we will have 120 multiply by 32.2 divided by 5 so this will be equal to vp square so from this we get vb square equals to 772.8 so vb square equals to 772.8 and now if we take the square root then we will be able to find the velocity when the caller reaches that point b so square root answer that is 27.79 so vb equals to 27.79 feet per second so this is the velocity when that call reaches that point B. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video if you people want me to solve uh, more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.